Welcome back to 843 TV, where communities come to speak. I'm Michael Burgess, and we're here with Joe Lee. He is a councilman with the town of Port Royal. And until recently, WHHI was mostly visible in Hilton Head Island. But we've expanded, and we have an audience that's grown here north of the Broad and wanted to talk with you, Councilman Lee, about you know, what benefit do you feel the expansion of WHHI uh, into northern Beaufort County will have? Well, we're tickled to death because um, we know there's a huge audience south of the Broad uh, in the Hilton Head area that really doesn't know anything about the area north of the Broad. And we want to use this as a link, uh, another bridge, if you will, across the Broad River to get people on both sides to cross over and see what the other side of the county is doing. It's gonna be great for all of us and uh, thank WHHI for this opportunity to, uh, to build this bridge. Very good. Uh, Councilman Lee, let me, uh, let me ask you, what do you want, you know, with this new expansion and you got all this, these, these new viewers and new eyeballs, what do you want the audience to know about the town of Port Royal? Well, first of all, we're, uh, uh, we're larger than most people think we are. We, uh, we want people to come and visit and people say, well, what can we do? And we tell people, uh, what if you come to our town and don't do anything? You can enjoy nature. You can go to the Sands Beach and look for shark's teeth. You can walk along Battery Creek. You can uh, see the dolphins play. You can go to the museum at Paris Island and see military history as well as local history, a great mili uh, local history museum. Uh, so there's plenty to do without having to be doing something. <laughs> and we think that's very important. And we want people to be able to come and find us. Do, do you think, you know, there's been a lot of, of change in the, the, the marketplace the last four to five years? We talked a little bit earlier about the recession and you know, how it affected students, student applications at TCL, job the job market shrunk. Uh, but it also, uh, there was a change on the, the print side of the media business because five years ago, uh, you know, this area had its own newspaper. All right, so that newspaper has, has been consolidated. And I think uh, just because of, of overhead, the amount of attention that's been able, that, that was put in this area has been restricted. So I'm assuming that that has affected tourism, interest, and some of the things that you were used to for many, many years. Yeah, I think that's that very true. And now people are using social media and the town has a website that we try to put out there and we're on Facebook. Uh, and uh, we're kind of fortunate in that we get about 4,000 visitors every weekend for graduation at Paris Island. Wow. Now, many of those may be staying in Hilton Head and Bluffton, but they come to Paris Island to see their child or their grandchild graduate. And we love these people. We take care of them when they get here, and, uh, and we use all of our media outlets to, to make them feel comfortable, too. Fantastic. Councilman Lee, um, what are some of the popular myths about PR that you want to dismiss? Well, I think uh, people that have lived here all their lives probably remember Port Royal as being a crabbing and shrimping community and uh, full of biker bars. And uh, I have to tell you that, uh, first of all, uh, I, I referred earlier to Port Royal being larger than most people think. Uh, our population, the last census, was 10,000. So we're nearly as large as, as Buford. Uh, our border, our town limit, extends actually down almost to Kalawasi, to Okatee. We, uh, we uh, are at Lemon Island Marina, if you know where that is, on 170. And uh, we have attracted a huge number of retirees, and these retirees have added to the vitality of the town, and they get involved, they come and get involved in town, and we love it. I mean, we, uh, we welcome these people. So it's been a huge change over the last 10 or 15 years. So what is the status of the sale of the port property? Well, it's, uh, I'm glad you asked because I can't, as a representative of the town, go anywhere without somebody asking me about the sale of the port property. And this is a great forum to maybe, uh, uh, maybe many of your viewers don't know about this, but um, uh, the state decided in 2003 to sell the state port that's in Port Royal. Uh, it had been unavailable to us since 1958. 
and it deemed it as being excess property and so they put it on the market and mandated through legislation that it be sold by the end of 2006. Well, we're happy about that because the property would go on the tax rolls. Well, it's uh, now uh, nine years later since 2003 when we started and it still isn't sold. Uh, we've had three potential buyers. Uh, we have a buyer right now. It's between the buyer and the Ports Authority in Charleston. Uh, the next step will be some money transferring on uh, August the 6th. So it's getting closer or it's not getting closer. We'll just have to wait to see in Still August in the, works, the 6th. Though. But it's, everyone is looking forward to it. It would be a huge economic driver. It's about a $150 million investment inside the town. So it would be beautiful. And obviously there's jobs associated with that. A good number of jobs. Uh, there's no, we don't require any more infrastructure. So it's a perfect development. Yeah, and I, you know, I don't mean to harp on it, but I'm sure the, the, the economy affected that process. Oh, absolutely. It, it has affected it a tremendous amount, and uh, it, the timing was bad in trying to sell sure, this in this economy. Sure. Yeah, if you were trying yeah. to, I mean, you know, one thing that's kind of neat at WHHI and, and being a real local television station is we meet a lot of local business people. And one of my favorites is James Wedgworth, who owns Charter One Property yes. Management on the island. And James is a, is a statistician, okay? And he loves bringing stats to you to show you the, the bell curve, so to speak, of what's going on in this real estate market. And he showed us back in third quarter of 2008 uh, where the, the, the pendulum swung started to, to go down and it went down at a very rapid pace. And when that happened, the inventory in the entire county exploded. It, it quintupled in right. size and then there was a credit crunch and it was the perfect storm so you know a, a great local business person has educated a lot of us on how this thing got going right. and now it's past us but uh, I'm sure when you mention a property of this size yeah. and magnitude uh, that formula was the wrong formula yeah. uh, at that time so fortunately behind us now and we're, we're moving on okay. excellent well, Councilman Lee, we want to thank you for taking the time to visit with us. I'm happy to be here, and okay. I look forward to this opportunity. Outstanding. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching 843 TV. Stick around. We'll be right back.